Hi guys, welcome back to Amateur Artists Forever. Jyotsna here. This is lesson one, part B. In this video, we will be painting a super cute birdie on a wooden coaster. In last week's tutorial, we learned how to paint a flower on a wooden coaster. Since this video is a continuation of last week's video, I suggest you check that video out first so that you know what I'm talking about. Today we are painting a super cute birdie. We have already covered the background for the coaster. I will just give you a time lapse version of that process. If you want to see the full tutorial for that, check the last week's video. We are using Camlin acrylic paints. I will be using medium mauve, cadmium yellow, lemon yellow, cobalt teal, ivory black, titanium white and raw amber. I am using a size 1 brush. You can use any brush, preferably size 2 or lower. I am mixing a little ivory black in titanium white and a little lemon yellow to get a greenish grey colour. I am drawing the outline of the bird. You can use a reference of your own or you can follow what I am doing. We will draw the bird sitting on a little branch. Do not worry about making mistakes. They can all be corrected as we get along with our painting. Drawing done. Let's dive into the next step. We mix more ivory black and a little more lemon yellow in the previous mixture to make it slightly thicker. I am making small straight strokes to fill the bottom sides of the bird. Simple straight strokes. I am using raw umber to make the outline for the wing. Now I am using black to mark the shadow side of the bird. Now let's add more brush strokes on the bird to give it some volume and a feathery feel. As we go up, I am making colors lighter and more colorful. I am using a little titanium white in the same mixture to lighten the color and I am applying it only on the upper parts. To mark the feet, I am using ivory black and making the shadow side of the bird's feet. I am not going to go in detail on the feet, just a hint is enough. I am making the branch on which the bird is perched. Time for the beak. I mix a little cadmium yellow and lemon yellow to fill the lower part of the bird's head. I drag the brush in downward motion in small strokes so that they overlap the grey feathers and look more natural. Do wash your brush from time to time in between shades. Now I am using raw amber for the top of the bird's head and the back of the head. I mixed raw umber, titanium white and lemon yellow and now in similar strokes as before I am filling the top of the head. I am blending the colors on the coaster directly for a smoother finish. I 
I made grey by mixing raw umber and white and I am using that to make some lighter feathers. I am correcting the shape slightly. Remember to keep your darker shades near the bottom and keep going lighter as you go up. This gives a 3D and realistic effect to your artwork. For the eyes, I am using black. Our bird is nearly done. Now I am just touching up on different parts, either highlighting by going lighter or increasing depth by going darker. I am using cadmium yellow on the last few touches. By the end of the painting, you should go more pure with your colors to make some parts stand out. For the shadow part, I am mixing cobalt teal and medium mauve to make light purple shade. Purple and yellow are complementary colors and they go very well together. Now for the top of the head, I am using lemon yellow. I am using white to color the area around the eyes of the bird and just a few strokes on the top body of the bird. Make a few strokes, overlap the wings. Use lemon yellow and raw umber on the top of the wings to highlight some feathers. Don't fill the wings completely. We don't want to lose the beautiful shadows that we have created in the beginning. For the top of the feet, use grey to make just some markings to show the feet. Use grey to mark the top of the beak. I am using raw umber and yellow to make some strokes on the top of the head. Use a small dot of titanium white to mark the highlight in the eye. Don't overdo it. Just one tiny speck of color and that's it. Sign your artwork and you are done. Now wasn't that easy? Most of my artwork that has been sold in the last 4-5 to five years has been of birds. I love painting birds and you just saw it was so easy to do it and it looks super cute. If you enjoyed the video, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I will see you in the next lesson. Till then, keep painting, stay positive. See you. Bye.